to get right on it. Mm-hmm. I need to get right on this face. Look, I got my hair done and even my earrings, but I don't have my face done. Okay, so I want to introduce a few things today. Uh, some wonderful uh, new things. I got a palette from Chanel. And I know, I tell y'all straight up front because, you know, it's expensive. So, um, and I got my foundation. And you say, have you changed it? No. I wish I had. But it's not. It's just not changed. Let's just get everything out. I don't know what that is. Oh, I do. 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 Okay. All right. I think that's everything. Who knows? All right. Because y'all know that I use this little... This is an old uh, bag from Lancome. It was one of those um, beauty bags from the past. And I like having those things because it helps me th take things from my dressing area to here. And these little mirrors... All right, so let's get straight to it. So the first thing that I want to do is say, how you doing? Oh, that's good coffee. This is my chocolate raspberry truffle from Ben Hood. It just feels like a dessert, y'all. Okay. And then I'm going to use the It Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. So it's a primer. And the cool thing about this primer is that it does so much else. And can I tell you, I can smell the essential oils in it. This has caviar extract, hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid. Thank you. I said that right for once. Uh, vitamins A, C, and E, argan oil, jojoba oil, avocado, and deep ocean water plus balancing treatment essential oils. And one little squirt, look at this, the size of a dime. On my finger is what I do. And then I mix it between the two fingers, just, you know, just to kind of get down the nose, front of the cheeks, because it is a primer. So let's get the makeup area first. But then it's just so healthy. There's so much good about it that I go ahead and do the whole face. And I just kind of rub it in almost like it is what it is. It's a wonderful primer. And that means I go over the eyelids because you know you need a primer for your eyelids, for your eyeshadow. And then I go on down. And then I just, you know, don't use this stuff up because it's so wonderful. This is It Cosmetics. And I feel like it kind of hits every area because of the hyaluronic acid. Just so many of the wonderful things that this provides. I'm a huge It Cosmetics person anyway, but especially for a primer that does so much more than most primers do. I'm sorry. I'm just noticing that my nail is gross. Okay. Okay. So, the next what? And you think, well, how long do you have this product over you before you apply your foundation this long? Okay. All right. I don't feel like you have to have a lot of Time between the two. Okay, so y'all know that my Perfection Lumiere Velvet um, Chanel foundation is my foundation. Why? Because, and I go ahead and shake this up, because it is a, uh, it's a smooth effect. So that what that means is that, oh, I forgot my brush. Okay, so here's what we would do. You can use this on your fingers. You know, um, what it does is it just provides a really good basic foundation. It's light coverage. I want y'all to see that it's light coverage. I know some of you are going, seriously, that looks gross. I want y'all to see that it's very light coverage. So I'm going, going over my um, head. I'm going under my eyes. I'm going all the way out down my nose and all the way out to the ear. On either side of my nose and down to my chin. And then down on my neck. Again, with opposite hands. So here, this hand goes down that side. And this hand goes down that side. It just helps it blend better. You know what I mean? And then go right along the ear area. And then the hairline. Just use your fingertips to go along the hairline. 
and come down and then go on the inside all the way out. And then also because of the primer, I would go on the lid. I just would. Now, either side of the nose. Now, what does this mean? This means it's going to be very, very sheer. And this is very sheer. This is not um, complete coverage or high coverage. This uh, Perfection Lumiere uh, Velvet from Chanel is a, I would say, a medium to light coverage. Okay? Some of you may like that. Okay, so next, I want to go ahead and use a uh, bronzer and um, cheek color. So I'm using the Cheekathon. I really do still love this, but just for those of you who go, well, I can't possibly do that. That's gone. All it is is a celebration of Rockatura, Dallas, Hula, Coralisa, and Dandelion. And basically, that is their colors. So uh, for me, personally, because I have very light skin, I like the Dallas for the contour, and I like the um, Dandelion for the... Um, blush. And so what I do, just to make this easy, is I go over the blush like that once, and then the coral, um, the Dallas, and I use this mirror that's on here, and I start right up here in this wedge, and meaning this is long ways and short ways. I do the short ways first, and then I do the long ways, and that kind of diffuses it out. And what that basically does is get that shadow that you want, but it's not so dark you know, you're using a little bit of that pink because that's that dandelion, and you're but you're using the Dallas, which is the dark, more of the brown, and then you come up and you blend it into your forehead, and you do these little outer areas. I do circles and then down, and then I come straight down the nose and under the nose like that. And now I'm going to brush it through once again, both the dandelion and the Dallas. And I'm going to go almost like I had a beard, like this, side to side. And then I'm going to go almost like I'm doing a toothbrush, especially on the chin. Why? Because right here where you have your jowls drop, you do want to darken that. You can even use the hula in this palette to really darken underneath. And then go down your neck, especially right underneath the neck. That's where you would do the three. Now you're doing that three right there. What does that do? It creates a shadow, you guys. And why does that matter? It's because um, as you get older, this gapes, and you want to create a shadow so it's not so obvious. All right, and then there's Rockateur. Hold on. There's Rockateur right here. And that's more of a shimmery blush. And so I'm going to swirl around about it, smile, and then get my just my cheeks and go up. My cheeks and go up. Like that, and then I come down straight across the bridge of the nose, underneath the nose, down here on the chin again, and then on either side where the jowls are, and then kind of blend it out and down. What does this do? It just creates some contouring effect, and I think this is great for that. And it kind of gives you a taste for what you want. Some of you may choose the Coralista, more of the rust tones. I choose more of the pink tones. Okay, so that's first. Second... I want to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. So, I've chosen this new shadow from Chanel, and it's called, this is part of the um, Le Four Ombres line, and it's 278 Code Subtils. Y'all, it's in French. It's just 278. Okay, so, it's beautiful. Y'all know the packaging of Chanel, but here is the colors, okay? And I'm going to let it sit here a while. So that you can see it focus in. Basically, it is a, a very light beige, a beige, a brown, and then a dark brown. And guys, browns always work. Why? Because it's it's just good colors. So I'm going to use my Sigma brushes. Uh, first of all, an E55, which is an I55. I'm going to use this highlighter color. And with it, I'm going to go right under the brow. And then I'm also going to go on the inner corner right there, straight up and down where it hits the top and the bottom of the inner corner, and then over, kind of like a light wash over the eyelid, okay, closest to the lashes. I'm going to do the same thing under the brow, and then get some more and go to the inner corner, and then out to the lid, and then I'm going to 
to kind of go to the outer areas. I'm going to go to the inner areas and the outer areas because I'm making a nice shimmer so that I can blend into those things. So next, why am I blending into? I'm using the large fluff brush from uh, Sigma. It's an E50, which is any wider brush. And I'm going to use this kind of more neutral tone. Why? Because this is the tone that you put down from your your crease to your brow so that you can make a nice blending session okay so it's usually very neutral it's very light see that see the difference and it's because if you want to put a dark brown or dark color or whatever it is a, a rust or whatever it is this gives you kind of a backscape that kind of says I'm gonna make sure this blends for you okay okay so that's all that is and then you take something a little more concentrated, and that is a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, which is an E45. I don't know if y'all can see that. These are older brushes. I need to get me a new set. And so I'm going to use this darker shade right here. And what I'm doing is rolling this on the brush. Why? And I'm going to tap it off in that brush. Because I'm going to go straight into the crease, and what I'm doing is giving myself dimension. And so I'm going back and forth in the crease. I'm going to kind of roll it right here in the outer corner. And I'm also going to kind of press it in the outer corner so that it gives me a sense of dimension. Again, I'm going to roll this, tap it back into that so that we don't waste that very expensive eyeshadow. Go into the crease. And then I'm going to kind of roll it again and get this outer area. And just kind of make sure that I got that. All right, and then I'm going to take a short shader brush. This is a short shader E20 from Sigma. And I'm going to use it almost like a 